For the second part of the lab, for the ray tracing, you will want to switch the light source to the three parallel rays. You're still going to start with the straight edge mirror. Place it down on a piece of paper. Trace out the surface of the mirror. But now we will have a slightly trickier job tracing out the straight rays. If necessary to keep uh, track of it, make more dots. In this part of the lab, you will not need to uh, have the normal or uh, measure angles. You merely need the drawing. Note each beam strikes the surface at a different point. We still want to label your drawing. And then answer the question that after reflection, are the rays still parallel or are they converging or diverging? You will then switch to a different side of the mirror. In this case, I'm using the convex side. Do the ray tracing of the surface of the mirror, which in this case is no longer straight, and then repeat tracing the incident and reflected rays. Try to do the, uh, these ones near the middle of those rays for better accuracy. Don't forget the labels. And then once again, answer the question whether these are converging or diverging upon reflection. Then you repeat using the concave side, concave side of the mirror as well, which will have a slightly different result. Uh, use a, a new piece of paper, of course, and then answer the same question. Don't forget to put back the mirror carefully using its corners. For the two thin lenses, the concave one and the convex one, don't forget to handle them carefully by their edge. 
This will be a little bit trickier because they have a tendency to fall over. Place them at one very end. Make sure to hold them down carefully for tracing so that you see the incident rays and the reflected rays. You will need to trace both sides of the lens carefully, much more carefully than I just did. And make traces for the incident rays and now refracted rays before removing the lens and then finishing up the job. Don't forget the labels. These are now refracted rays. Then repeat for the concave lens using a different drawing. Yes, there is a slight reflection also due to internal optics in each lens. Uh, you may ignore that. Just concentrate on the incident rays and the refracted rays to answer your questions. To be courteous for future users, don't forget to store the light source by resetting it to the single ray format. Unplug the source and gently pull the plug. Never yank. Store the power cord. Never try to wrap it around the plug. That will break the cord. Rather, use nice, gentle wrapping. And then secure it just gently with two twists. <clears throat> 